Hi everybody, I'm David Olin from Roland and today I'm here at Gear for Music Studio to show you the Boutique Series 2. And right now I'm really excited to show you our new TR09 drum machine, uh, part of our Boutique Series of course. So it fits nicely in the K25 keyboard but also more importantly it comes included with this dock unit that we already have here. Uh, the TR09 is basically uh, a mini version of the legendary TR909 drum machine from back in the 80s. And we don't just have the authentic sound of the 909, but we also have actually the authentic sort of means of operation. So actually this operates pretty much exactly the same way as a real 909. So if you can use a 909, you can already use this. Okay, so let's have a listen to how it sounds. I'll just go into the step recorder here and put some kicks in. Now we have that classic 909 kick, of course, and we can also adjust all the original parameters too, like attack and tuning and so on. And uh, we want to put some hi-hats in now. Sequencer is dynamic, so you get uh, full velocity or half velocity, depending on how many times you press uh, the step button. We also have the nice uh, hi-hat cancellation feature, so I can put some random open hi-hats on here and they will actually automatically delete the closed hi-hats. So I can just, just do something like that. Very interesting for hi-hats also, we have 30 second notes now in this sequencer. So if I just hold the enter button, I can get uh, all the 30 second notes syncopes in, in the, the bar that's playing. So we can do something like this. And now you can hear the 30 second notes. Um, also, we have a tap function, which basically means real-time recording. So now I can play uh, the little step buttons uh, like a drum kit. Finally, we also have a trigger output. So I can actually send a gate signal to anything that will receive such a signal, such as old school Eurorack gear, other types of analog gear, and uh, even actually the TB-03, which I'll show you in another segment. The TR-09 also has a built-in audio interface via micro USB and is also micro USB powered, so you can easily record it into your DAW. And also actually you have 10 separate channels, so you can get kick, snare, hi-hat and so on out individually through USB. Okay, so now let's have a look at the TB-03. This is of course based on the classic TB-303 from back in the days with that legendary acid bass line sound. So what we want to do is just have a listen to how it sounds and um, I will make a little sequence here. So I'm in step recording mode and I'll, I can just randomly put some of my favorite notes in here and we can listen to that sequence now. We have the same parameters on board as on the original, so we have the cutoff resonance, envelope modulation, decay, accent, and so on. And thanks to the ACB technology that these are also based on super smooth filters. Um, of course we want to have that classic accent sound and slide, so I'll put some of those in. And now we also want to listen to the second waveform, so that was the square, and now we can also listen to the sawtooth. But one important difference between the TB-03 and the TB-303 is that we now have built-in effects. So we have an overdrive section with three types of distortion, we have two delay types and also one reverb. So let's just have a listen to, for instance, the reverb. We can go from really short reverb to really long, of course. Change those parameters really quickly in real time. And now we want to add some of the overdrive as well. We can go from just a little bit crunchy to heavily distorted. So those are the effects. Now because the original, the TB303, was very difficult to program, we now have two programming modes in this one. So we have the original mode, but we also have what we call step mode, which is basically just a simpler mode. However, the original mode is famous for its tap right feature, which basically means I can put in a bunch of notes, but then I can tap in the rhythm afterwards manually. Uh, so of course in original mode we can still do that. So if I just go to my tap mode here, then I get a little metronome. 
and now we can and now we have our rhythm there so just an easier way to get the, that rhythm you have in your heart directly into the machine Finally, we also have a trigger input on the TB03. So this means I can take a trigger signal uh, or a gate signal from outside and trigger the sequencer step by step uh, externally. So for instance, of course the TO09 has a trigger output, so this is very convenient in this case. So this means I can make a one bar loop with the trigger output here and still have quite irregular things happening inside the sequencer of the TB03. So let's try that. I've selected trigger output as the instrument and I'll just make a one bar loop here and we activate it. Add some more notes. And maybe even more notes. So that's another interesting way to be creative with the TR09 and the TV03 together. Now, let's have a look at our VP03, which is our uh, new vocoder keyboard. But of course, again, based on a classic, uh, this time it's the VP330, a very huge uh, sort of monster keyboard. But now we have it all condensed into this little thing here. So, uh, of course, it fits into the K25 keyboard really nicely as well, just like the rest of the boutiques. Um, and uh, it has a few little quirks, so let me just get down and show you. Of course, uh, for starters, we want to show you the the classic VP330 vocoder sound. Uh, so this is very a very famous vocoder sound from uh, used a lot in the 80s and stuff like that, but also even in contemporary music too. A nice thing about this one is I can actually control the format with a little ribbon controller here. So in real time, I can make myself sound small or bigger like this really quickly. So I can make all kinds of voice changes just like that. Also, on top of this vocoder itself, we have a few other little quirks, like the strings. Of course, these are not real strings by today's standards, but more of a kind of vintage string machine type strings. So let's have a listen. <laughs> We also have a uh, male voice uh, and female voice in the human voice section. So let's have a listen to the male voice. <coughs> female. Uh, together. <coughs> and we can also add the built-in ensemble effect on top of that. <coughs> so really nice sort of vintage voices there. And of course we can layer it with the strings. <coughs> And we can even add the vocoder and its ensemble effect on top of that. So you can layer all of those parts together and you can also use them, for instance, for the chord memory function, which we also have on board. Uh, this basically lets me store up to 16 different chord settings. You can record your own uh, or you can use any of the presets. So uh, by just pressing these buttons, you can recall different chord settings like this. Try another one. And a few more. This is also convenient, of course, when you're using the vocoder, so... You can easily use those for the vocoder too, if you want. You can even use this for the internal sequencer if you want. We actually do have a step sequencer similarly to the earlier boutiques. Um, so 16 patterns with 16 steps each. But this sequencer is quite special because you can actually record audio into it as well. So let's have a listen to that one. Um, I'll just turn off the vocoder feature here and just listen to the direct mic. Of course, that doesn't sound too musical, but we can play around with the pattern so I can mute and unmute some different steps and see what happens. But the important part here is that I can mute the direct mic signal there and just use it for the vocoder, so we can hear how that sounds. You can tweak the format as well at the same time.
So a MIDI sequencer and audio sequencer at the same time. So that's our Boutique Series 2. And uh, to round off, something they all have in common is a 24-bit 96 kilohertz audio interface. So you can easily record these into your DAW via USB. They're all IRLink compatible as well, and also USB powered. They can also be powered by AA batteries if you wish. They all have built-in speakers and can be uh, connected to the DK01 dock or the K25 keyboard. Finally, the VPO3 also comes with a gooseneck microphone. If you want additional information about these, feel free to check out the Gear for Music website. Meanwhile, I'm David Olin from Roland, and thank you very much for watching.